Welcome to Hyper Anime Time. My name is Rohan and today I'll be talking about one of my favorite animes of all time, Yosuke Kishi's Shinsekai Yori. It's one of those special anime shows that truly deserves its recognition in an industry where thousands of anime shows already exist. This is an anime show that I truly love and want everyone to watch it. And with that, let's begin the show. This setting of Shinsei Kayori is quite unnerving. At first, it seems like a utopian world, but as the viewers indulge themselves into the later episodes, they'll come to know more about this world and its history, dark and relentless. The show has a coming of age mix, sci-fi mix, drama genre, with the spies of supernatural in it. The world of Shinsekai Yori is beautiful. It's disturbing. It's kind of sad actually, but even with that, it still has a glimmer of hope. Now, let's talk about the story of the show. Well, this mystical story revolves around a girl named Saki and her group of friends, Maria, Shun, Satoru, and Mamoru. While the cast may give you an impression of the show being a shounen anime, don't let this deceive you, because from the start, the show will give you a certain uneasy feeling that something is wrong in the world that they live in. Children start disappearing from the school with no traces left behind of them. There are also rumors going around that there are these beasts called copycats kill these kids at night. Nobody knows how this is happening. But the show keeps giving you hints on what's actually happening. And it still brilliantly keeps most of the story intriguing and mystic. As the characters grow, they start learning more about what has happened and what is happening. Which not only changes their lives forever, but also changes the lives of the people around them. Now, let's talk about the characters of the show. The characters in the show are quite distinct from each other. Each of them have their strengths and weaknesses. Each of them have their own emotional baggage. And each of them have great personas and point of views. Saki, our main protagonist, is a teenage girl who is strong and decisive. She's one of those people who can make those tough decisions when needed. There's also Shun who is polite, smart, and is calm. He cares about everyone, helps people who are around him, and guides them. There's Satoru who is a reckless one, an action-packed individual who's actually kind of a smartass, but also becomes reliable when needed. Then there's Maria who is always lively cheerful, loves to be loved, and cares about whom she adores. And at last, we have Mamoru, the shy one. He's kind of cowardly sometimes, but has a big heart. He would do whatever it takes to achieve what he wants. All these characters grow, they become older, they become complicated, make sacrifices, become strong. Almost like how in reality we as humans grow. They become a lot relatable, which makes these characters so much believable. This show is an emotional roller coaster where you will be happy, you will be sad, you will be angry, you even might be mad, which is the beauty of this show. It makes the viewers feel those emotions naturally and quite satisfies them by the end of this 24 episode show. This is one of my favorite animes. I love it. And I hope you watch it too. Well, there you have it. Another show suggested by us to you all. Stay tuned for more of these shows to come in the future. Till then, sayonara.